All right, I told you guys today we would change out the plugs. I went and got some new plugs. Yeah, I took an old one out, of course. And what we're going to do, and I picked up some Ziploc bags. As I told you, I was going to use some Ziploc bags, freezer bags, put my clothes in, roll them, and then whatever. And then those would go into the saddle bags. And I'll show you the saddle bags here in a little bit. But uh, they cross-referenced the Harley plug with these. They work good. They uh, gapped them for me at the store just because everybody kind of knows me and they're pretty good about it. I don't have a gapping unit, so but they looked it up and they gapped them for me. So we're basically going to get these in here. And uh, they had to order the, the filter. The filter sets down here. They didn't have one in stock, so they're going to order it. It'll be in this afternoon, so I can actually uh, do that um, this afternoon. I can change the change the uh, the oil out and uh, bought the filter wrench come on you little bugger tricky little thing not wanting to get in there probably should have put a little oil on it there it goes you'd never ever want to cross thread if you cross thread them you basically are in some serious I've never done it before but I've heard people that it's happened uh, happened to them and you, again, you don't want to snug these up. You don't need to. You don't need to snug these up there that much. You just want to seat them. We're gonna put that one on. Make sure it's connected. Get this one off there. Pop this one out. And the plugs, I'm sure, were fine. But I just thought, you know, we're getting ready for a long trip. I'll have spares, and it never hurts never hurts to have a brand new plugs in there I was gonna I might put these in the box I don't know I'm not really keen on putting them back in the box I think I'll just put them in the uh, in the freezer bag okay let's get this one in here and I may take the bike down for a wash today I could use one of course give it a nice wash before I go uh, once I get to the farm, I'm going to put a brand new tire on the front, but the tire on the front is really not bad, according to, according to Harley, they said it wasn't that bad and stuff, so I will do it down there, I'll have a little extra money, plus I have a little time, I could take it over to the shop for, uh, a little snugged up on that one, alright, alright, let's see if, uh, see if she starts just a little bit better, man, I took the key with me, as I run to town, just not that it's a big deal. Jesus, I got too much crap here. Just to let you know, the van's been running great. Well, it didn't, didn't start as nice as it did with the old plug, but. So what we're going to do is put these in here, and I'm going to wind these up. And you can see my little tool bag on here. I'm going to pop this out so I can see that you guys can see. And we're just going to kind of wind these up. Fold them up really nice. Basically, it's keeping them dry. And they'll go in the little tool bag for a spare set. I gotta put some oil on this. I got this for like 10 bucks. So anyway, we're good there. I'm um, gonna give you a little view here of the saddlebags. Well, I'll try and give you a little narration of this thing as we go, just because I've kind of forgot to narrate everything uh, for you. So we'll uh, we'll kind of go through this here. What I did is just under the foot peg there was a drain plug under there um, that drains the oil out of the crankcase. So I did all that and then um, there's actually the hose that comes out underneath there 
that comes out of the reservoir tank and so I pulled that off with a, it's a hose clamp or whatever um, cleaning the nipple off uh, which had some filings on it the nipple that came out of the uh, crankcase um, the oil in the crankcase there um, you can still see a few drips down below coming out so I'm just cleaning that nipple off getting all those filings off and stuff which I uh, mentioned to you guys to uh, in the next little part to give me your heads up whether them uh, you I, I expect you get a little bit of filings all the time so we're gonna try and move this a little bit I had to go buy a an oil filter and it took a while to get the oil filter in today they didn't have it in stock so uh, I, uh, I went and uh, waited for them they ordered me one the oil filter was like six bucks um, a lot cheaper out of uh, an outplug Napa. I got it from Napa. Napa seems to be. But I had to go buy this uh, oil filter wrench to get it off. Uh, connects to my 3HN socket. And uh, move, the, move the camera a little bit so you get a little better view. So anyway, uh, it's the only th way I could get it in there to take that off. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a neat kind of a neat oil wrench. Uh, uh, oil filter wrench. First time I've used one of those. I kind of like that. So, you know, you can put a little adapter under this oil filter, a piece of plastic, so you can get some of the oil. It doesn't drip down on the bike or whatever, but <clears throat> I would even see some of the oil dripping down into the container now, into the into the uh, bucket that I had, and I'll dump the rest of the oil from the filter in there and get that out of there. Um, looked good, though, uh, but the oil was dirty. Uh, apparently, you know, the bike's setting for a couple of years. The oil was definitely uh, a little little dirty and um, I should have used some clean oil to put put on the gasket here on the rubber seal should have used some clean oil but uh, you know I, you know that whatever I'll probably get some backlash from it but uh, no big deal I just use some old the old oil no big deal so just kind of checking it uh, putting putting that on of course screw that baby on uh, hand tighten it a little bit and then we'll put the wrench back on snug it down a little bit make sure it's uh, you know you never want to over tighten your oil filter most people over way over tighten them you know you're just trying to get a seal so it doesn't leak I'm gonna give it a little bit more here just a little bit I just felt man snug it up just a little bit more. just I don't want any leaks and it's not gonna have to come off for quite a while uh, it's full full uh, 2050 synthetic oil full synthetic so it's supposed to uh, give you a, a lot longer life uh, some people swear by it like it some people don't um, I, my research showed me that uh, what I looked at people went with the uh, 2050 synthetic so that's what I, I went with and it really looked nice putting that clean oil in so I think I run around the other side just to check the uh, the oil reservoir on the back but yeah I'm kinda pleased with the bike and uh, I really like those uh, saddlebags that I bought um, I like that they're not I don't care for the leather I'm, I'm happy that I went with some uh, synthetic so now I'm kinda getting under here I'm gonna try and take off the little rubber hose under here that comes out of the reservoir and pull that and I can drop that and get all the uh, get all the oil out of the reservoir so and I know this parts kinda monotonous I'm gonna put the plug back in um, real quick here just get that out of my hair but it wasn't bad you know oil change took about half hour maybe 40 minutes all in all to get it done and it was certainly definitely needed um, it was definitely needed to get it done without a doubt so but part of this like I said and I really really love the relocation uh, thing I did with the lights I really like that that really turned out nice I was happy how that came out um, so as I said I'll put the uh, spare plugs in the uh, little tool kit carry those for extras 
if I ever happen to need a you know plug goes bad or something I would like to replace my wires going up to the coil I'd like to put some heavier duty ones on some nicer ones I may do it on my travels because I can get to a place to uh, to where I can actually purchase those I'd like to purchase some colored ones some neon or something maybe um, you know a yellow or something I don't know just just make it stand out gives it a little character a little bit of a, a thing putting a little rubber mount on which is uh, for the kickstand bounces back so all right I'm gonna undo the rest of this uh, oil into here and we'll be ready to uh, just basically put thing put it back put the stuff back together dump the oil in get it up to level run a little bit and circulate the oil through and that basically does it we're good to go all right guys all right new plugs new oil change we are in great business everything is ready to go Sounding good, running good. Maybe some of you bike owners can give me a little bit. When I pulled the one drain plug out, it's got a little uh, magnetic nipple on it, of course. Collects all the shavings and, fi shavings and filings and all that stuff. So I did add a little bit of filings and stuff around that magnetic thing. I think that's always been pretty commonplace to have some. Uh, but you guys can throw me a comment in the comments section, you know, all you bikers that are really know your shit when it comes to the mechanical ends of things if it's commonplace to have a few of those shavings and stuff so anyway I'm gonna put her back in the little garage here for now and try and get a ride in tomorrow